Hello there, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. Photo mats. We use our scraps. Do we cut into 12 by 12 paper to make photo mats? What size photo mats do we make? Let's talk about it. These things are important. Let's get to it. Get some paper, get a pencil. You're gonna write, wanna, you're gonna wanna write down these measurements. All right, so I finished working on a project. I have quite a few scraps and I'm thinking I wanna spice it up a little bit with a second cardstock color, which is this craft cardstock right here. These are both uh, my Maker Basics brand cardstock. It's an 80 pound smooth cardstock. You can pick it up in my shop, paperphenomenon.com. I will link you to uh, my shop down below. Now, what I like to do is take my scrap paper and my scrap card stock and I like to cut my photo mats once I'm immediately done with the project. So, right here, right up here in this area right here, you're gonna find my go-to measurements for photo mats. You may wanna write those down, all right, because they're good. They're, they're gonna wanna be your go-to measurements as well. So I start off with the big pieces and I start off with my very first measurement. I start off with the biggest photo mats that I like to create, which are photo mats for, you guessed it, a four by six photo. That measurement is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I try to see how many six and a quarters by four and a quarters can I get out of my stack of papers, my stack of scraps. Right now, it's looking like three, All right? Then I grab the second largest stack of paper and you don't have to, you don't have to stack them like this to cut. I just do it because I am a little bit lazy and I like to take a shortcut. Let's just call me the shortcut gal, right? Not the lazy gal. My second measurement, second largest is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Again, these measurements are right up here, so don't worry, you don't have to rush or pause to write these down. You can always rewind. Okay, so four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I look to see what else can I get my four and a quarter by four and a quarter again. So I've got this stack, I can get my four and a quarters by four and a quarters from here. All right. So four and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is perfect for four by four pictures. All right, so out of this stack, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My next size is, four, uh, what is it? Four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I look for that, my friends. So it's looking like I may be able to get two four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this is for the three by four. So we've got, oh, three, excuse me. I got three out of that. My last size is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And that, those are for my two by two photos. And I've got to tell you, those are my favorites. I love small photos. So two and a quarter by two and a quarter. All right, done. And the this one is looking like I can get one out of here. So let's do that. Two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I have that. And this is looking like quite short. Here looks like I can get another one. get out of there. All right, so two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Oh, I think I can do another one here. Yep, I can do a few more. I can also do, I missed a size in there, right? I skipped a size. I can do three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And that is perfect for my three by two. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is what I got out of all of these scraps. Then what do I do with these scraps? 
hang on, let me show you. You can even get a little more juice out of here if you want to, just a little more juice. So I like to use my one inch punch, not this one, my one inch, because this is my go-to size, right? And I won't bore you with this, but I will punch a bunch of one inch circles out of all of this cardstock, all right? It all depends how many circles I have because I do one more thing and I'll share that with you guys. See if I can get from there. You get the idea, right? So from this strip, I can get quite a bit. And I can use this for closures. I think I'm done. I think I've squeezed all the juice I can get out of this cardstock. What I also do with these bits is I hang on to them. Once I'm done with the project, these go in the trash, guys. I'm done with it, all right? So these pieces right here, if I need to make, I don't know, an insertion point, if I need to mat an embellishment, I will save these for that. Not all of them because I know I'm not gonna use it all but I especially like to save these because I won't have to cut it that thin, right? So I'll keep these, you know, kind of handy until I'm done with my project. Once I'm done with my project, I punch as much as I can punch. The rest goes into the trash. I don't save anything like this, okay? Again, I try to squeeze all that juice out of it. Then, because I know I want a secondary, uh, a secondary color of cardstock, I grab my 12 by 12 cardstock. So I've got my 12 by 12 cardstock here, and I have this is a hundred pound cardstock, all right. Um, and I've got four sheets. I like to, this is how I cut a 12 by 12 for photo mats. I start at six and a quarter. And let me tell you, this Tim Holtz trimmer is no joke. It'll cut like it's nobody's business. Do I want to struggle like that? I really don't, so I'm taking another sheet out. But did you see that? Four sheets of 100-pound cardstock, guys. But three sheets is just easier for me. I don't want to go through that struggle. So then I cut six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay? So I got that put that to the side. Then again, I'll go in and cut six and a quarter. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot I'm taking a sheet out. I don't wanna do four, too much work. Six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Like that, so guess what we do with that? Circles. Then we have this piece left over. Then this piece I cut at three, I'll cut at, let's see, three and a quarter by four and a quarter, or four and a quarter by four and a quarter. It all depends on the size of photo mat that I want. And I'm thinking I want three by fours, okay? This piece I'll cut down to three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then this, I'll cut down to two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And you are left with nothing. Look at this, all right? Those teeny weeny scraps, which makes my life very, very happy, guys, very happy. If you wanna do uh, one and a half by one and a half, you can, because they, they're super cute. All right, they work. You can also use this for making tabs to add to your project. So let me finish this here. Remember I took these two sheets out so that I don't have to struggle. So six and a quarter If you want to make more interesting photo mats, I highly recommend my 
matting ideas 101 video. I will link you to that all in the description box. I have some excellent ideas on making super fun photo mats out of your scraps. All right, so this I'm gonna opt for the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you always wanna check out my channel. I have really good, fun, quickie videos with lots of tips and tricks and all sorts of things. But I'll link you down to the Maddie 101. Excellent, excellent ideas on, on the, that series, all right, or on that playlist. So that's it, that's all I do, guys. So what will happen, uh, of course, I save this for my, my bells and whistles and my creating photo mats to see if I need to create an insertion point or anything. After that, circles or G file. What is the G file? The trash. So, oh, I forgot to say this one. My bad. This is why you always want to watch my videos to the end because you're going to miss something. All right. <laughs> this one, I'm going to get fancy on you guys. This is not in the, was not in the measurements above. Um, you can cut three and a quarter because three and a quarter by three and a quarter was in the measurements above. Right? But this one is three and a quarter by six and a quarter and I'm gonna do a double photo mat on here which would be really cute. But what I would do with this is cut three and a quarter by three and a quarter if I didn't wanna get fancy with a double photo mat. So we'll do one of those, why not? All right, and this one would be an easy peasy three by three because I don't have a problem with cropping my photos down. Okay, perfect. All right, so there you have it. So these are the photo mats that I will use for my project. I have a really nice variation of photos and it's going to create my project. It's going to make my project look super interesting. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the description box. I always get back to you guys. I'm happy to answer your questions. If you love what you see on this channel, be sure you like and subscribe and you may want to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time.